Imagine a time when the skies were filled with giant airships, floating like majestic whales through the clouds. It was a time when the world was captivated by the promise of air travel, and the year was 1937. At the heart of this fascination was the Hindenburg, a mammoth airship that was a spectacle of engineering and luxury. Yet, this symbol of human ingenuity would soon become a stark reminder of the perils of technological advancement. The Hindenburg disaster of 1937 was a catastrophic event that marked the end of the airship era. It was a day that saw the dreams of the future go up in flames, quite literally. The disaster left an indelible mark on history and forever changed the course of air travel. Join us as we delve into the story of the Hindenburg, a marvel of its time that met a tragic end. The early 20th century was a time of fascination with airships. As we delve into the era, we find that these colossal vessels of the sky were more than just flying machines. They were symbols of human ingenuity and adventurous spirit, soaring above the clouds and bridging continents. Airships, or dirigibles as they were also known, offered a unique mode of transport that was both luxurious and innovative. Unlike the noisy, bumpy rides of early airplanes, airships promised an elegant, smooth journey through the heavens. Picture a floating palace gliding serenely across the sky, its passengers dining in style, sipping champagne while gazing at the landscape below. This was the glamour of airship travel. The appeal of airships extended beyond their grandeur. They were used in a variety of ways, from delivering mail to conducting aerial surveys. They even played a role in military operations, proving their versatility, but the airship era was also a time of intense innovation. New materials and technologies were being developed, pushing the boundaries of what was possible. The construction of these vessels required a delicate balance of weight, strength, and buoyancy. Engineers were constantly seeking ways to make airships faster, larger, and more comfortable. However, it wasn't just about technical advancements. Airships sparked the imagination. They inspired dreams of a future where travel was not just about getting from point A to point B, but an experience to be savored. They represented a new frontier, a new way of seeing the world. The crowning jewel of this era was the LZ-129 Hindenburg. Named after the late German president Paul von Hindenburg, this airship was the epitome of luxury and technological prowess. Its story, however, is one of great triumph and tragic downfall marking an abrupt end to the era of airships. As we journey through the history of this remarkable vessel, we'll uncover the events that led to its fiery demise and the profound impact it had on the future of air travel. The Hindenburg was more than just an airship, it was a symbol of human achievement. This colossal airship, known formally as the LZ-129 Hindenburg, was a marvel of early 20th century engineering. Its construction was a testament to the advancements of the era and its purpose transcended mere transportation. Imagine a giant floating hotel, more than 800 feet in length, gracefully cruising across the sky. This was the Hindenburg, boasting 56 passenger cabins, a dining room, a lounge, and even a smoking room, all contained within its silver duralumin framework. It was a spectacle of luxury and innovation, with passenger amenities that rivaled those of the finest ocean liners of the time. But the Hindenburg was not just about luxury, it was a symbol of a new age of transatlantic travel, bridging the gap between continents in a way that had never been achieved before. It represented a dream of a world more connected, more accessible. In its brief operational life, the Hindenburg made 17 round trips across the Atlantic, connecting Frankfurt, Germany with destinations in the United States and Brazil. These voyages were not merely journeys, they were events, watched and marveled at by thousands. The Hindenburg was, in many ways, the epitome of the airship era, a time when the sky was seen as the next frontier, a realm to be conquered and explored, and for a while it seemed as if this giant of the skies, this symbol of human achievement and aspiration, would lead the way into a bright and boundless future. However, the Hindenburg story took a tragic turn on May 6, 1937. This date would mark not just the end of this magnificent airship, but also the end of an era, bringing a sudden and dramatic close to the age of the airships. But that's a story for our next scene. For now, let's hold on to the image of the Hindenburg in its prime, a silver giant soaring gracefully above the Atlantic, 
a symbol of human ambition and the unquenchable spirit of exploration. It was a day that started like any other, but ended in catastrophe. The Hindenburg, a marvel of the airship era, was making its first transatlantic voyage of the year on May 6, 1937. It was a routine journey, carrying 97 passengers and crew from Frankfurt, Germany, to Lakehurst, New Jersey. However, as it approached its final destination, a series of events unfolded that would lead to one of the most infamous disasters in aviation history. The airship, a beacon of luxury and innovation, was preparing for landing. With the ground crew waiting and the mooring lines dropped, anticipation filled the air. But in an unexpected turn of events, a flame appeared on the outer cover of the Hindenburg. In less than a minute, the largest airship ever built was engulfed in a fireball, its hydrogen gas cells ignited. The fire spread rapidly, consuming the airship in a blaze of catastrophic proportions. The Hindenburg, once a symbol of human achievement, was reduced to a twisted mass of molten metal and charred debris. The fire was so intense, so all-consuming, that the airship was destroyed in less than half a minute. The images of the burning Hindenburg, its skeletal remains falling from the sky, have since been seared into public consciousness. But amid the chaos and destruction, there were stories of survival. Of the 97 people on board, 62 managed to escape the inferno. These survivors, some severely burned, others in shock, bore witness to the disaster, their accounts providing a chilling insight into the final moments of the Hindenburg. The Hindenburg disaster was not just a tragic event, it was a turning point in aviation history. It marked the end of the airship era, a period that had been characterized by excitement and innovation. The disaster highlighted the dangers of hydrogen-filled airships leading to a shift towards safer, more reliable means of air travel. The Hindenburg disaster was a moment of chaos and horror, captured in the memories of those who witnessed it. It was a reminder of the fragility of human endeavors, the risks inherent in pushing the boundaries of what is possible. It was a moment that would forever change the course of aviation history. The disaster was a spectacle of fire and fear, forever imprinted on the minds of those who saw it. In the chaos that unfolded, the witnesses and survivors of the Hindenburg disaster painted a vivid picture of the scene. One such account comes from Werner Franz, a 16-year-old cabin boy who recalled how a blast of heat swept through the ship. He described his escape through a hatch that had been blown open by the explosion. Then there was Harold G. Dick, an American who was part of the ground crew. He recounted the heroism of his colleagues rushing to pull survivors from the burning wreckage. The air was thick with the smell of burning diesel and the cries of those trapped inside echoed in their ears. Joseph Spa, a vaudeville comic acrobat on board the Hindenburg, survived by smashing a window with his movie camera and leaping out. His escape was a testament to quick thinking amidst the terror. In the aftermath of the disaster, the world was left in shock and mourning. The disaster left a trail of destruction that went beyond the physical damage. As the inferno consumed the Hindenburg, Ground crews and first responders sprang into action. The scene was chaotic, filled with panic and desperation, yet also punctuated by acts of sheer bravery. Firefighters battled the flames, rescue workers rushed to aid those who managed to escape the burning airship, and medical personnel worked tirelessly to tend to the injured. The toll of the disaster was devastating. Of the 97 people on board, 36 perished, including one ground crew member. Many others sustained severe injuries, some of which would have lasting effects. The horrific images of the burning airship and the tales of those who survived painted a chilling picture of the tragedy. It was a scene that would be ingrained in the collective memory, forever changing the way people viewed air travel. The Hindenburg disaster marked the beginning of the end for the era of airships. The Hindenburg disaster sent shockwaves through the world of aviation. The fiery end of the massive airship was a sight that etched itself into public consciousness, marking a turning point in the history of air travel. Before the disaster, airships were seen as the future of long-distance travel. Their sheer size and the spectacle of their flight had captivated the world. The Hindenburg in particular was the epitome of luxury aviation, a floating hotel that crossed oceans. It was a symbol of technological triumph, of human ambition soaring in the sky. 
However, the Hindenburg disaster shattered this image, replacing fascination with fear. The public was horrified by the tragedy, their trust in airships irrevocably damaged. The image of the Hindenburg in flames was a stark reminder of the risks involved in air travel, making people question the safety of these floating giants. In the aftermath of the disaster, the airship industry went into decline. The public's faith in airships as a safe mode of transport was shaken and passenger numbers dropped dramatically. The industry was further hit by the rise of faster, more efficient airplanes. The era of the airship, which had begun with so much promise, was coming to an end. However, it wasn't just the public perception that changed. The disaster sparked a shift in aviation policy, with governments around the world implementing stricter safety regulations for airships. And the use of flammable hydrogen was heavily scrutinized and the shift towards non-flammable helium was accelerated. In the end, the Hindenburg disaster served as a stark wake-up call, a tragic reminder of the dangers of unchecked technological progress. It brought about the end of the airship era, marking the beginning of a new age in aviation, one focused on safety and efficiency rather than spectacle and size. The age of the airship was over, but the investigation into the disaster was just beginning. In the wake of the disaster, the world demanded answers. Investigations, both official and independent, were launched to uncover the cause of the catastrophic event. The United States Commerce Department, assisted by the National Bureau of Standards, led the primary inquiry. The consensus? Hydrogen, the very gas that gave the Hindenburg its buoyancy, was also its bane. A spark, possibly caused by static electricity, ignited the hydrogen, resulting in the rapid, devastating fire. The flammable materials used in the ship's construction, particularly the outer covering, were also found to contribute to the severity of the fire. However, it's essential to remember that these conclusions are based on evidence available from more than eight decades ago. Some researchers and historians still debate the exact cause, with theories ranging from static electricity to a bomb plot. Despite these debates, one thing remains clear. The Hindenburg disaster left a lasting legacy on the future of air travel. The Hindenburg disaster was more than just a tragic accident. It was a turning point in aviation history. The catastrophe reverberated around the world, and its echoes are still felt today. The disaster didn't just end the era of airships, it reshaped the entire course of air travel and aviation safety. In the aftermath, the public's faith in airships plummeted, and the demand for safer, more reliable methods of air transportation surged. This led to the rapid advancement of airplane technology, catalyzing the birth of the modern aviation industry we know today. Furthermore, the tragedy underscored the paramount importance of safety in aviation. This resulted in stricter regulations, rigorous safety checks, and the continuous pursuit for better, safer materials and technologies. The Hindenburg disaster thus inadvertently paved the way for the safer, more efficient air travel we enjoy today. The Hindenburg disaster serves as a stark reminder of the risks and rewards of human innovation. The story of the Hindenburg is one of ambition, innovation, and tragedy. We've journeyed through the rise and fall of an era marked by airships, luxurious and innovative travel, epitomized by the LZ-129 Hindenburg. This iconic aircraft, designed for transatlantic voyages, met its catastrophic end on that fateful day in May 1937, an event that left an indelible mark on history and on those who witnessed it. The fast-acting ground crews and first responders, the casualties, the survivors, their stories are all part of this narrative. The decline of airships post the Hindenburg disaster underscores a shift in public perception and the need for safer alternatives. Investigations shed light on the causes, emphasizing the role of hydrogen gas and flammable materials. The legacy of the Hindenburg disaster goes beyond the end of the airship era, shaping the future of air travel and aviation safety. The Hindenburg disaster ended the era of the airship, but its memory continues to shape the world of aviation today.